first this board planning has really paid off, both locally, nationally, and globally. Um, I have been in public health long enough to have been around when Anthrax was here and to have been around when SARS was here. And the advances that we have made as a public health community and, and as a medical community in figuring out how to respond to outbreaks, how to respond to epidemics in a way that is rational and makes sense and can be communicated to the public. Um, it's astounding. We really are learning. If there's a downside, I think we actually plan, in this instance, for the wrong disease. We plan for a global pandemic of, uh, uh, of great severity, and both within the county, but in my discussions with public health colleagues around the country, we're continually having to say to each other, yeah, you know, our pandemic plan said that, but that was if we were dealing with a strain that was causing a high mortality rate. That's not what we have, and so we need to adjust our policies accordingly. So I, I think the decisions here is absolutely, and, and you may want to comment on the technical steps that happen. You know, there's, there's already a vaccine seed virus. It's been sent to the manufacturers. The manufacturers are already taking all the preliminary steps that need to be done. That as soon as HHS and the FDA and say go, they will be able to go. So I think that's the right place to be right now. Do, doing everything we can. Again, we've learned a lot in two weeks. We'll learn a lot more in, in the next two weeks. So you will, this is my best estimate, is that you will see a vaccine being made against the strain. The last lesson for me is that in all of these outbreaks, communication, is, uh, effective communication, is still the biggest challenge. In this particular outbreak, there's this inherent uncertainty that we have of not knowing for sure what the strain is going to do. And on the one hand, trying to be honest about that, but on the other hand, trying to provide people with information that we do have that's available. The temptation always is to tell people things that you don't really know. And in your mind, and in my mind, always trying to stop before I start going off into speculation and saying, well, that's after something we don't know yet, but our learning has been a challenge. Second, there's this real balance between boredom and horror, right? Where you're trying to really get the right message here, which is to appropriately reassure people when you can reassure them, but not step over too far into assurance when you cannot kind of provide it.